A very warm welcome, friends, to EPG Patshala. I'm Dr. Archana Sachdev, Principal Scientist in the Division of Biochemistry, Indian Agricultural Research Institute, Delhi. I'm going to talk about catalytic antibodies under the paper entitled Protein Biochemistry and Enzymology. In this lecture, we will learn about catalytic antibodies and their characteristics their role in the biological systems, and we shall also explore the brief history of catalytic antibodies and try to understand in details the various catalytic antibodies and the different modes of generation. Let's start with some important terms. Let's take the antibody first. What's an antibody? An immunoglobin protein produced by the immune system in response to the invasion of a foreign substance. Haptin, a small molecule that reacts with a specific antibody but cannot induce the formation of antibodies unless it is bound to a carrier protein. Antigen, any substance that elicits an immune response when introduced into an animal. IgG, the most common immunoglobin which is distributed between the blood and extravascular fluid. The IgG is used in the formation of catalytic antibodies. What are catalytic antibodies? They combine the antibody specificity as well as the enzyme's catalytic power. Basically they are immunomodulators which can increase a couple of metabolic, physiological as well as chemical reactions in the body by binding to a chemical group. They are produced by combining an antibody to a haptin molecule. Haptins are usually designed to resemble the transition state of metabolic reactions which also evoke a specific response in the organism. Small molecule haptins are almost attached to a larger protein molecule called carrier proteins. Coming to the structure of antibodies, these antibodies have a single deep pocket which is called an antigen binding site which exists in the interface of two of the heavy and light chain variable regions. The hotspots within the variable domains which are vital for the antigen specificities are called complementarity determining regions or CDRs. The catalytic antibodies utilize antibody specificity as well as enzymes catalytic power. You can see it in the slide how the antibody and the antigen and how a catalytic antibody and a an antigen bind to each other and the kind of products which they release. Where the characteristics of these catalytic antibodies are concerned they can either be present naturally, that is innate in case of autoimmune diseases or be elicited by the vaccination or immunization. The mode of action however includes nucleophilic catalysis, coordination with metal ions, induction of conformational strain and stabilization of transition states. Haptins, when we talk of haptins, the term haptin is derived from the Greek word called haptin, which means to fasten. So small molecules that stimulate the production of antibodies are often conjugated to larger molecules and they are called carrier molecules or haptins. Catalytic antibodies mimic the transition state analogues and hence are highly specific and potent inhibitors of enzymes. What are these transition state analogues? We all know that enzymes perform catalysis by maintaining the middle state known as the transition state and certain chemical compounds resemble the transition state of a substrate by its chemical nature and thus they are known as transition state analogues. A peep into the history of catalytic antibodies takes us back to 1948 where Linus Pauling gave the principle of enzyme catalysis and proposed that the compounds resembling the middle state or transition state of an enzyme reaction will be very potent inhibitors of those enzymes and hence these mimics are termed as transition analogues. 
In 1969, it was Jenks who suggested that one could obtain antibodies with catalytic activity by generating antibodies raised against a stable analog of the transition state. 1986, Peter Schulz and Richard Lerner conceived and demonstrated the concept of generating abzymes that catalyze ester hydrolysis. 1989, Paul et al. discovered the first natural catalytic antibody IgG which hydrolyzed the vasoactive intestinal peptide in bronchial asthmatics. There are a couple of methods for designing haptans or catalytic antibodies and these include transition state analog approach, bait and switch approach, strain induced approach and reactive immunization approach. Coming to the transition state analog approach, we have haptans which elicit antibodies which stabilize the transition state and this approach is the most common technique of abzyme research. The phosphoryl species has been used as stable mimics and sufficient work has been directed at hydrolytic reactions of acyl species. Most of the acyl transfer reactions involve stepwise addition of the nucleophile followed by expulsion of the leaving group with a transient high energy tetrahedral intermediate. Phosphorus based transition states have got a great success in this direction. Coming to the bait and switch methodology which deploys a hapton to act as a bait the catalytic ability of these antibodies is then sought by a subsequent switch to the real substrate and screening for product formation. The charge-charge complementarity is one of the most striking features involved in the specific tight binding of antibodies to their respective antigens and has been exploited in the bait and switch strategy. Sterolytic antibodies have been produced using this technology or this strategy. The strain induced hapton design approach is a modified transition state analog approach to elicit catalytic antibodies. In this approach, a chemical modification of the substrate distorts the resultant hapton and during hyperimmunization, the strain induced hapton leads to altered substrate binding in the antibody combining site, facilitating the chemical reaction by lowering the energy of the transition state. N-methyl mesoporphyrin is an example for the substrate for which 7G12 strain induced hapton based antibody mimic was generated specific to the enzyme ferrochelates. Reactive immunization hapton design strategy improves the catalytic efficiency of catabs to natural enzymes simply by using a hapton that undergoes dynamic conformational changes during hyperimmunization and traps chemical reactivity at the B cell level. The reactive hapton is covalently trapped by a nucleophilic residue in the antibody combining state during immunization. The trapped monoester functions as a transition state analog. Currently, three methods are primarily used for eliciting catalytic antibodies polyclonal antibodies, monoclonal antibodies, and antibody fragment based. The slide displays a summary of this lecture. We have the various methods of eliciting catalytic antibodies which have been displayed in this slide. Coming to the applications part, it is involved in the detoxification of cocaine. To eliminate the toxic effect of the drug, catalytic antibodies have been generated which cleave the cocaine molecule at specific bonds. Catalytic antibodies are also used as anti-cancer agents using unique determinants called tumor cell antigens. Such cat apps have two distinct antibody binding sites. One site binds with high affinity to a tumor cell antigen, while the second site catalyzes the cleavage of a prodrug. 
Initially, the antibody is introduced into the patient and it binds to the tumor cells with high affinity. Later, the prodrug is introduced into the bloodstream but only becomes activated in the vicinity of the targeted antibody and destroys it. The world's first commercially available catalytic antibody was 38C2. It was used to catalyze the aldol addition of a wide variety of aliphatic open chain and aliphatic cyclic ketones to various aromatic and aliphatic aldehydes. Normal catalytic antibodies were developed for synthetic carbohydrate synthesis, insect pheromone production and for producing derivatives of epithelon, which are the anti-cancer drugs. Catalytic antibodies against allergy, viral and bacterial infections were also developed. Coming to the end of this module, we would like to summarize the facts we have learnt here in this chapter. The catalytic antibodies are unparalleled as tailor-made enzyme mimics with specificity as well as catalytic and activity. The enzymes and catalytic antibodies, they share a primary mode of action by stabilizing high energy transition state. And using four different approaches, the cat apps can be prepared. Number one, transition state analog strategy. Number two, strain induced approach. Number three, bait and switch approach and the reactive immunization approach. The enzymes have a superior evolutionary advantage and additional mechanisms that assist enzyme catalysis like covalent catalysis, cofactors, primary proximity effects and the dynamic ability to complement an infinite number of conformations along with reaction coordinate. Also, the fact that CATABs possess numerous applications in the field of medicine and in the pharmaceutical research.